Hi, this is Dr. Linda Davis, and today I want to walk you through the steps for making your old iPhone your newest portable webcam via FaceTime. And I had a situation where I had an old iPhone 4 that wasn't being used without the cell service on it. Of course, it becomes nothing more than a iPod Touch, so um, I thought, well, why can't it be used as a webcam using FaceTime? Because obviously FaceTime still works on an iPod Touch if you have Wi-Fi. So this is the process we used, uh, and we also added the auto-answer feature because the, the other problem was, well, there's never anybody there to answer the FaceTime call, but however, if you install the auto-answer app, it'll automatically answer phone calls from, uh, or FaceTime calls from specific numbers and email addresses. So this is the process we did. Step one, you should update your old iPhone 4 or later to the latest iOS version by connecting with your computer to update. Once you have that complete and still have your uh, iPhone 4 plugged in to your computer, you want to jailbreak the old iPhone 4 using the Evasion software by going to their website. It is a free download. However, it does void the Apple warranty, but you're probably not using the old iPhone anyway. And if that's the case, you know, follow their Evasion instructions. Also on that point, I'd like to also say make sure that your um, computer has power supply the whole time. You don't want it running out of power in the middle of a download. Now after the jailbreak is complete, the Cydia App Store icon should be on your phone. Uh, the Cydia App, which is a third-party app store, contains the ability to purchase the Auto Answer app that makes remote viewing possible. Now, there is no auto answer app on the iTunes store, and that's why we had to go to these extra steps to make this happen. Okay, you cannot add the Cydia app store unless you jailbreak the iPhone. Now, step four. While in the Cydia app store, you want to add the Big Boss auto answer app. It's a small fee. It's around $2.99. It's found within the Cydia App Store, and if you need to search on Auto Answer within the Cydia App Store, that'll help you locate it. But Auto Answer is the key search term there. Now, step five. And this is just something that I had to keep playing with until I worked through it. If using the same iTunes account as the, as the device calling into the old iPhone, then change the FaceTime setting on the old iPhone that says... You can be reached by FaceTime at, and then at which point you can add any valid email address. Since this old iPhone no longer has a valid cell number, this email address should have nothing to do with your iTunes account. So use an email that is not connected with your iTunes account. And this was the key step that makes it work for a family of iPhones that all use the same iTunes account. Um, if I had my iTunes account tied to my AOL account, I had to go in and change this to my one of my Gmail accounts to make this work. And it wouldn't work until you did yet you actually got step five complete. Now step six. This is about um, privacy issues. Obviously you don't want anybody, just anybody, dialing into your FaceTime remote camera um, and looking at whatever it's focused on. So to control this, you want to go to Settings in the old iPhone 4, and for privacy purposes, perform the following. So you go to the Auto Answer Settings within the Settings, and select the FaceTime Settings within the Auto Answer Settings. So first of all, you want to make sure Auto Answer is on. By default, it should be. Then you need, within that same screen, go to the FT Auto Answer Numbers slash emails. Now, FT obviously means FaceTime, but they abbreviate it. So, FT Auto Answer Numbers slash emails. And list the phone numbers or email addresses that this webcam will auto answer from. So, I think it gives you two or, th I know it gives you like at least three numbers or emails that it will accept auto uh, calls from that it will automatically answer the phone call. Now, after this last step, setup should be uh, complete. So I hope that um, gives you new a new purpose for your old iPhone 4 or 4S. 
Thank you for your time.